A community dealing with a different kind of problem in this heat, a terrible odor caused by dead fish in their pond. A stinky one, a homeowner in the Lakes of Mission Grove subdivision. Asked us to look into it, and as a Rochelle Turner reports, some families can actually smell the odor inside of their homes. Residents say the stench is a health hazard, and at times it can be unbearable. They want the developer to take full responsibility and fix the problem. This is what one of the ponds at the Lakes of Mission Grove community in Richmond looked like on Sunday. Today it looked like this. It's been gradually getting lower and lower. The man-made pond is full of dead fish and residents are disgusted by the smelly nuisance and the unwelcome vultures. I can't even breathe out here. The stench is unbelievable. The smell is so bad. It's actually seeping into my home. Our guests have complained, so it's just really sad to see that that's happening in our neighborhood. I've been here since 2016 and I've never seen this before. Residents say the problem started two weeks ago when they say the community well was turned off, locked, and no water was being pumped into the pond. Those fish are out there dying in that pond, a miserable death. Brian Ebert even tried saving some of the fish on his kayak by providing oxygen and new water. It's really like a horror show, a horror show down there. There's fish taking their last little bit of life to push up and get their lips. These are fish trying to get their lips out of water. In an email sent to residents, the HOA Montage Community Services said they were aware of the problem and the developer constructed a community well which holds water that may be deposited into the pond. The developer is asking the association to pay a monthly fee of $150 for the well, which the board has been unable to substantiate. The board says they've tried to negotiate with the developer and they don't have the ability to facilitate water into the pond. We saw that and my husband was not <laughs> really pleased about that and we thought that was pretty unfortunate, especially since we pay so much um, for HOA dues and you know, it's just unacceptable. I reached out to the developer and the HOA for a response, but have not heard back as of news time. Reporting in Richmond, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News.